Next, once we've got the jig in place, we need to zero the head. The cutting head needs to be level with the jig. Okay, so in this instance, to level that, all we're going to do is set it on a surface plate. So, we're going to take the surface plate, set the two together, loosen the lock nut, I'll do this back to front for you. and remove the vacuum hose. We then take the lower part of the body, okay, and what this does is, as we rotate it, it winds it on its thread, and we can basically extend the cutter, going deeper and deeper, okay, or we can retract the cutter on the thread. Okay, so in this instance, to zero the tool, we sit it on a surface plate or a flat plate. We hold the collar of the body, and as you turn it, you just press down on the jig. With the jig pressed down, you just rotate the body until it stops. Okay, and it interferes with the plate. At that point, we lock up the lock nut. When using the lock nut, always use the spanner from the outside of the tool. It gives it the most access, greater access, and then you can check the tool with a ruler and the diamond cutter should be in line with the actual jig itself. Okay, If it's not, adjust it accordingly by moving the thread in or out once more. Okay.